Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is lecture zero of this dynamic programming course series. And in this lecture, we are going to have a look at the course overview. And in this lecture, we will be looking at the algorithms and the problem that we will be solving from DP. That is dynamic programming. So first of all, we would start from very, very basic concepts and basic problems and then we'll move on to intermediate and then finally we'll be uh, solving some of the very advanced problem like digit db so first of all we'll be solving the problem coin change so uh, the coin change problem is you are given certain value and you have certain denominations like you have coin uh, you have certain value like 2 and denominations are one rupee and two rupee so in how many ways you can add coins to make a total sum of two or three so if uh, you would look at for sum two then you can have uh, one plus one as two since we have one rupees coin so we can have two one rupees coin which would add up to be two or we, you can use uh, one two rupee coin which would be uh, total sum would be 2 so you if you have total sum 2 then there are two ways uh, you can make the total sum 2 so you are given the total sum and denominations and you have to tell in how many different ways you can make make up that total sum the uh, second problem is subset sub problem you are given an array and also a sum and you have to tell whether there exists a sub a subset from a given array such that the sum of the subset is equal to that number or not so we would be taking a problem from code chef and applying a sub a subset sum an uh, algorithm on that and then there is a two cross n tiling problem uh, you are given a grid of size two cross n and uh, uh, you have uh, dominoes of size 1 cross 2 or 2 cross 1 so uh, we have to tell in how many ways you can fill the grid of 2 cross n uh, we would be taking two problems first one is easy tiling and another one is number of tilings both of them are from code chef and first one as the name suggests is uh, is an easy one while other one is a little bit difficult after that we will be going for stairs problem so the stairs problem is you are standing on zeroth stair and in one step you can uh, move two step ahead or in one step you can move one step ahead so from zeroth stair you can go to second or first stair so you have to reach to the nth stair and you have to tell how many ways you can reach from zero to nth stair we will be taking the problem Musaddi and uh, Musaddi Lal and stairs from Code Chef and applying the knowledge that we would be st uh, gaining after studying stairs problem. And then there is a problem, it is an easy one uh, taken from Hacker Earth, which is odd even sub array problem. Uh, this is uh, a simply application of uh, modular arithmetic and easy DP. So we'll be solving this problem as well. After that, we'll be studying 0 1 knapsack problem, which is a DP problem. There is also a version of a uh, fractional knapsack problem, which is a greedy problem. So we'll be solving 0 1 knapsack problem and we'll be taking a problem knapsack from Code Chef and we'll be solving that. A uh, knapsack problem is you are given, uh, you are having a knapsack which, ha which has a certain capacity, maximum capacity and then you have n elements or n objects which have certain weights suppose the maximum weight of knapsack is w so you can't put uh, you, you you can put objects uh, in the knapsack such that their weight sum should not exceed w that is maximum capacity of knapsack and the sum uh, sum of the objects should not exceed maximum capacity of knapsack, uh, knapsack and sum of the values because each object is having two properties first one is weight and second one is profit or value so the sum of the profit must be maximum so we have to maximize the profit 
that is zero one knapsack problem and we'll be solving that as well after that these all are easy uh, easy problems and in the next sli slide we will be looking at some intermediate uh, mediatory problems this is LIS that is longest increasing subsequence we will be studying about this and solving two problems one I remember is from Code Chef and another one is from Spodge both of various uh, varying uh, difficulty levels uh, this, the problem from Spodge is a bit better than the problem I've taken from Code Chef. Uh, there, there are uh, many variations of LIS problem, so we'll be covering most of them. After that, uh, these are some of the interesting problem. First one is rod cutting. Uh, even the rod cutting is, uh, is one of the uh, like cliche problems of dynamic programming, but I'm considering it interesting because it uh, there is a problem. First, the rod cutting is you are given a rod and you uh, there is a rod of length suppose n meters and for each meter if you cut the rod of length one meter then that can be sell at a diff uh, that can uh, you can sell that at different price then uh, you can cut the rod in uh, two meter size and then two meter would have a different price three meter would have a different price and so on so you are given a rod and you have to cut the rod in such a way that you maximize the total sum or total profit that is rod cutting problem and then we'll be solving a problem rod cut from spot but this one is uh, an special and interesting uh, variation of rod cutting problem this problem uh, flowers taken from div2 and it is it was a d problem uh, rated 1700 so we'd see how a rod cutting problem is utilized to solve this uh, flower problems from code forces and then after this is the most important questions because uh, this is the most important question uh, this is caesar's legion i hope i have pronounced it correctly uh, this is taken from beta round and it was a D problem rated 1800 this is the problem I'll be taking as an example and uh, uh, we'll be setting up a way to solve dynamic programming problems in a certain way and that way is also uh, uh, that way would also be used to solve the problems from digit DP so it is important that you uh, e even if you are good at DP and you are here only for DGDP, I even e I still recommend you to watch this uh, lecture at least because I'll be setting a way to solve a dynamic programming problem, which would be a kind of general way to solve most of the dynamic programming problem. That would be a recursive way, and then that is the way that we would be ut uh, utilizing to solve most of the DP problem as well as. Uh, digit DP problem so even if you leave a uh, previous lecture because you already know those concepts just don't leave this one after you uh, after this problem we will be solving three more problems vacations taken from div uh, this is a div 1 a problem uh, rated 1400 boredom uh, div 1 a problem again rated 1600 both would be solved using TP of course and the last one is uh, div 2c problem rated 1700 uh, coloring trees so after we have studies uh, after we have studied a way uh, to solve dp problem in this lecture we would be utilizing the same way to solve these three problems after that uh, things get interesting because we start digit dp uh, to in digit dp first of all we will be solving a problem sum of digits you are given a range L and R you uh, and you have to uh, print sum of digits of each number from L to R inclusive problem code is CPCR7C taken from Spodge and after we have studied uh, this sum of digits problem this one is to solve by yourself this is almost the same problem but with uh, uh, what we say with constraint a bit uh, harder than the first problem 
uh, but both the problems are almost the same in in the second problem also you are given l and r uh, and you have to print the digit sum of all the number from l to r and then we'll be taking a problem uh, magic numbers from code forces educational round 8 which is rated 2200 uh, this one is much harder than the previous two problems and then we would be solving chef and digits a medium uh, question taken from code chef then Ravan numbers G1 numbers and Lucifer numbers taken from Spodge and then 369 numbers taken from Spodge again these are the digit DP problems that we, we would be solving and these are not all we have uh, I have more problems that I'd be discussing but I just wanted to keep things a little messy so I've just I'm only representing eight problems here because there are a lot of problems I I have a list of like 18 digit DP problems so I'll be discussing most of the those problems, but probably you will not need uh, editorial for all of them because you'll be able to solve most of the problem by yourself so these are the digit DP problems that we would be solving and after this course I uh, you'd be able to solve most of the DP problems uh, I hope so D DP is something that requires a lot of out of the box thinking so even even though you know most of the D DP problems and you have solved most of the most type of DP problems you still require a lot a lot of practice like at least 100 problems of various levels then you'd be good at solving DP problem because it requires a uh, literally it requires out of box thinking optimization and state space reduction there are uh, there are literally a lot of things which goes behind solving a single problem of DP so I hope you'd be learning a lot from this course and I <clears throat> and this would be fun so thank you guys for watching and yep, keep coding thank you